K1 The Arena Fighters for the PlayStation was claimed to be the most realistic fighting simulation of its time. I'm a fan of K1 and of mixed martial arts, so finding this game in a retro gaming store in the mall, I had to pick it up for about $5. I plan to collect all the mixed martial arts video games released for both the PlayStation and PlayStation 2. Today I have dumped the BenQ image from my game disc to use on my PlayStation Classic. I will link some videos in the description if you're curious for how I did this. For those of you who don't know anything about K1, here's a little background. The K in K1 actually stands for four disciplines. Karate, Kickboxing, Kempo, and Kung Fu. The K1 is a one night tournament with no weight classes hosted to see which discipline and which fighter was superior in the stand up striking game. While I could go on for days about the history of the tournament, I'd rather get into gameplay for your viewing pleasure. As mentioned before, a huge selling point of this game was it being a realistic fighting simulator per Game Fan magazine. I've played the entirety of the UFC series, both from EA Sports and THQ, and I'm interested to see how this game fares with the games of the past 10 years. I will be lenient of course, but I still have high expectations for K1 The Arena Fighters. It's a wonderful concept with one of the most exciting kickboxing promotions. Okay, I hate to be this way, but I must air my complaints just to get them out of the way. For one, I'm saddened by the lack of fighters in the game. K1 The Arena Fighters only allows 8 combatants to choose from, and that is quite underwhelming. And the models aren't the greatest in the world, but they do resemble the fighters. While that may seem like a nitpick as this game is geared more towards the actual simulation of fighting, it's still how I feel about it. Also, there's an option for 3D backgrounds and I simply don't like the look of them. The gameplay suffers, and I think it was a valiant effort in the right direction, but just not what the game needed. Another complaint I have is the lack of game modes. I would have loved for this game to have a creative fighter mode. I think it would really put it over the top, especially with the AI setup feature available. My final complaint is the lack of larger men. K1 is known for its freak show like fights pitting a 5'6", 160-pound kickboxer against what seems like what is the most out of shape fighter they could possibly find. That would be an interesting dynamic in this game, especially with the stamina bar. Okay, I'm done complaining. Let's get to the good stuff. The game sounds lovely to my ears. The background music is marvelous and fits the scene of a late 90s MMA. It's gorgeous. Have a listen. Another compliment to the sound is the sound effects. Each hit sounds solid, and that's important to immersing yourself in the matches. I feel like they did a great job of capturing the excitement of K1 in real life. Upon playing, you are greeted with a health bar and a stamina bar. When stamina depletes, you can no longer attack, and when health depletes, the game is over. In the options, you can adjust the amount of rounds the time of the rounds, the amount of knockouts to end the game, as well as judgment. If a fight goes to decision, you may either choose to decide off of life bar left or amount of points scored. This is unique and I can appreciate it. Knockdowns happen randomly, or so I found. Just assume that if a solid blow connects, someone is falling, especially if a special move lands clean. The game looks pretty nice as far as the 2D backgrounds, they aren't perfect by any means, but they're colored pretty well for my eyes. There are different venues that you can fight in, and again, you have the option to choose between 2D backgrounds and 3D backgrounds. In the 2D backgrounds, the photographers around the ring is one of my personal favorite design choices. It makes me feel as though I'm watching a K1 event on broadcast. I'm also a fan of the animations and the fluidity of play. While seemingly clunky at first, I found that there are actually some slick combos you can pull off in this game and each fighter's combos vary. When you beat the arcade mode, or just the regular single player mode, as it's called, you can see where the animations were motion captured and get a little look behind the scenes, and to me, 
they look sleek for the PS1. Each fighter is equipped with their signature or favorite moves, as well as their own winning animation. Wins in this category. Now for the game modes. There's a single player mode, which is your traditional arcade mode, as I mentioned before, a versus mode for two player action, team battle, and tournament mode. This game is pretty cut and dry when it comes to what it offers. One of the most intricate modes, however, is the AI setup mode. There are different menus, as you can see on the screen, to which you can edit each fighter's behavior. I could imagine that if someone were to be a big fan, they could watch some fights, pick up on each fighter strategy, and try to adjust the AI in a similar manner. You can do this for all eight fighters and truly emulate their strengths and weaknesses. This is beautiful to me. This is exactly the type of things I look for in simulation games of any genre. You can save these adjustments to the memory card and start up a CPU versus CPU matchup. I have to say, these are enjoyable to watch and with the sound effects and the audience reaction, you feel like it's an exciting fight. If you have two memory cards, you can set a different range of AI on each. While I mentioned the roster being small, I do appreciate the variety of fighters out of the eight. Each have a different style and strengths and weaknesses even before touching up the AI in AI setup. Now to close, here's my overall thoughts on the game. While it isn't perfect, I do feel like it lives up to the Game Fan Magazine description so far. I haven't found a game this intricate on any platform of that time and era, and during my collecting, I'm hoping to be proven wrong by the other games based on the K1 promotion. The strong points of this game are its sound and AI setup mode. I can say that this was an enjoyable experience and the replay factor of the game for me is very high as I want to tweak more AI points and see what kind of fights I can create. I hope these issues I've mentioned aren't present in the sequels when I get my hands on them. From screenshots and gameplay, they look alright, but if you know me, I must get my hands on the game before I can speak on it. I appreciate you guys for hanging out with me today. Again, I upload at least once a week, and if you'd like to support me and possibly help fund my next game purchase, there's a coffee link in the description. Coffee.com, that's ko-fi.com slash Darius Rush. All proceeds go directly into this channel. Um, I just bought a new mic, as you can tell. The uh, sound quality is a lot better from last time, and this can go to even upgrading the mic or even purchasing more fighting games for me to play on this channel for you guys and if you enjoyed today please link this to another MMA fan drop a like if you haven't already subscribe ring the bell to keep up with me that's all for today folks I'm Darius Rush and thank you for joining me at Rush Arena I'll see you next time